Coming up on Sports Night. Here's for C going for his four short hand of the year. He gets it. The Hawks were hot going into Saturday's game. Would they go cold up in the Great White North? Al Rose bobbing and weaving and firing and a Big score. Bucket. The Bulls and Mavs go down to the wire deep in the heart of Texas. Who would prevail in OT? And we should have won this game. Plus, why a big league star's 553 home runs and three MVP awards may be forever tainted. I don't think uh, Alex Rodriguez is going to get any sympathy from the public. Because everyone deserves a classic, Sports Night starts right now. This. Not good, perfect. It may not have been the Blackhawks and Red Wings outside at Wrigley, but we'll take you to another winter classic on the northwest side. You know, our kids are all Hawks fans, so everyone was all excited about the, the opportunity to play outside and be like the real Blackhawks, you know, the winter classic outdoors, so they were totally into it. Seven different players scored for them in all in an 8-3 to three victory. The Winter Classic is already inspiring imitation. Every NHL team wants to be part of the next New Year's Day game. And now some area kids programs are creating their own. Friday night, the McFetridge Youth Program in the city arranged for its Pee Wee team to meet the DuPage Admirals, not only outside, but under the lights at Reese Park on the northwest side. And our Josh Morrow was there. I like wanted to play outside, but I didn't think it would actually like be able to happen. In this magical hockey season in Chicago, anything seems possible. Margie McCullough witnessed the Winter Classic in person, then pitched the idea of an outdoor game to her son's Pee Wee team. They were all for it. Same thing. The like kids are all, you know, our kids are all Hawks fans, so everyone was all excited about the, the opportunity to play outside and be like the real Blackhawks, you know, the Winter Classic outdoors, so they were totally into it. I thought it was going to be amazing. I kind of worried about how freezing cold it was going to be. When you're moving around, your body will stay warm, and I move around a lot on the ice. One hard lap around, come back here, hurry up, everybody skate together. Reese Park is a nice facility, though hardly the rink at Wrigley. There's a hole in one corner, shadows help tend the goal at one end, and the ice is perfectly white. No center ice logo, no face-off circles, not even blue lines. I think it will because our players won't know where offsides is and where they should be at. We play points and it's gonna be different. No markings, there's no glass, so we're gonna try and keep the checking to a minimum. But it has boards. <laughs> it's just for fun, so, you know, since both coaches, we you know, we agree it's just a, a fun game. We're kind of agreeing on that it's, you know, mellow, let it go, no checking, just let the kids have fun. So since it doesn't count, we don't have to be sticklers for the rules. Now this is an exhibition. It doesn't count in these teams' league standings. The Hawks wish they could say the same about their Winter Classic, but it does count as an experience. These kids have never played games outside the way their parents and coaches did. If you think about it, this age group, Josh, has never played outside. They, when we were kids, we would we'd grab a puck, a bunch of buddies, you go out and put your skates on, skate outside. This group has always played inside, so this is really the first opportunity for a lot of these kids to play outside in this kind of atmosphere. I have, but only pond hockey. Now, how so, is that different from this? Um, pond hockey is like you can't check, so you mainly don't have any equipment on except for your like gloves. So this, you can actually check and have fun and stuff. Fun like they've never had before. At Reese Park, Josh Mora, Comcast Sportsnet. Thanks, Josh, and the Admirals would win 5-4 in a shootout. Play of the day is next.